you guys. Welcome back to another video. It's boy, Nate Shot out of here. Another trick shot video. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know you clicked on the title and you're curious. Something about a car accident, right? We're gonna get to that clip in uh, just a second. Believe it or not, it started with us trying to take the Raptor, the Ford Raptor, and tow a tree out of our backyard. And somehow turned into this. Oh my no. gosh! But, th but that's a long story. It'll all make sense later in today's video. But for now, I have a very, very important thing I want to show you guys. Oh, but it's all dirty crap. There we go. I have a lot of things. There's, there's the videos I have to make. There's a lot of stuff we do with SSG. There's T Fox brand. There's all these other things. So I don't have that much time to like work on this kind of stuff, which is why I'm really excited to show you my new little desk area. Let's give you a tour. So this is in my room. Um, this is my new desk area. I wanted to show you guys it. This is where I'm gonna be filming a lot of sit down videos. And I mean, any, any kind of video, I'm, I'm gonna probably film there in the next clip. We're still working on it. There's a lot of work that needs to be done, but uh, my idea thought process was I can use this as a background for videos now. I've never had a nice background stuff for you guys to look at. Let's do a little run over. This is my desk. I got it at Target um, and then I, I paint splattered it in my room. That is right. I did this about two weeks ago. Of course, I got to have my SSG Vertigear gaming chair, best in the game. This is like my favorite gaming chair of all time. The colors are amazing. It looks good on video. I want it to be creative. I don't want to just put up a bunch of random stuff. I really wanted to make my little space, you know, me. So I decided to hang up old scooter decks that I have. This is a deck that I rode when I was 13 years old. This is a deck that I rode when I was 15 years old that actually inspired my first prototype signature deck, which is this one right here. I made a video comparing the first GTR to this very deck and, uh, it's really cool to have it as a shelf on my wall because this is the very first um, signature deck that I ever got. Um, this is like a prototype for me. So I wanted to make them shelves, left the original grip tape on each and every one. This deck actually snapped. I broke this when I was about 13. Then we have my T-Fox plate from the FRS. This is an Arizona plate from my very first GTR. I used to put it in the window. I don't know if you guys know that or remember that car. Moving down, I have the other Guaxilla plate because Guaxilla. And then I had my roommate Johnny help me paint all of this stuff. He painted all the shelves and then we painted this one together. So this is like a paint splatter thing. Eh. So that's where you control all that. But what we did was we actually messed up the painting. So I decided to just paint splatter and kind of fix all the bad parts. But this is a trophy I got from scootering. This is the trophy I got from the Ace Family basketball game. I got this when I was in Swaziland. Of course we gotta have the Hunter K plaque. This is the beginning. This is the root of everything on this YouTube channel. So I gotta have you guys up here, I gotta have our trophy. That's, that's, we earned that together. Well, if you were the 100,000 club, we earned that together. So I had to, I had to put it up there. This next part's for my car guys. If you're not a car guy, skip to this point because I don't want you to see this. Actually, I do want you to see this, so keep watching. This is my Hot Wheels collection. Well, this is part of it. Before I ever started working with Hot Wheels, big fun fact, I have my Hot Wheel that you guys have probably heard about. I've been collecting Hot Wheels for the past like two years. These are all of my best cars. I'm kind of proud of this collection. If you guys know anything about Hot Wheels, you, you should be jealous of my collection because it's not bad. We got the Super WRX, R34, we got a we got an FXX right there. That's a that's a that's a crazy looking Ferrari. We have the F40 right there. We got the GT3 RS. We got the Ford Raptor. We got the Model X, and then we got the two custom FRS and GTR Hot Wheel right there. Plus all of these other ones, which are super cool. One thing that I really have been waiting to kind of film an update about because I wanted it to make sense. I want to give you guys a little update on my acne because when I made those videos, I was blown away by the support and all the people that like could relate to me being open about my acne and I thought it was really cool and I, I, I figured if it can help a lot of people I like that means a lot to me because I know how it feels to have acne. So I've been taking a uh, medication which is very intense. Um, it's called Accutane. Basically I've been taking it for five months. You're supposed to take it for six. Four months into it is usually the time, usually, don't take my word, the point of the medication like making a turn is it makes your skin really, really, really bad. And I'm actually gonna put a picture right after I went to Germany, right here you guys can see my face. It was super broken out. My acne's never been that bad before. It was like, the worst I've ever felt about it. I hated making videos. Like, <laughs> I didn't hate making videos. I hated like being on camera and having my face on camera. It was this really uncomfortable feeling. And I didn't want to be down about it because I don't like to show those kind of weaknesses. I don't want other people to feel that way because I do. That, that sounds like crazy, but that was my thought process. My acne got really, really bad. And after Germany, that's when I was finally like, okay, I need to focus on my health. I need to like do something about this. I also knew the Accutane made your acne worse. But at that point, my health wasn't up to par. I wasn't drinking a lot of water. I was drinking tons of milk, which all of those things are really, really bad for acne. I got home and I was like, okay, a whole lot of stuff has got to change. And that's also part of January when I stopped posting videos and I 
didn't really leave an explanation for it. It was kind of like the point in my life where I was like, okay, there was a whole lot of other things going on behind the scenes and I was just overwhelmed and I was like, I need to focus on my health. I need to not be stressed out all the time. I just need to be healthy. So I'm going to tell you guys a few of the things I worked on that I feel like impacted me, like my health and overall the way I feel and I think helped my skin quite a bit. Um, after Germany, I started drinking a 2.2 liter of water every single day. I don't know if you guys have seen my big water bottle that I hold around. Eat way more fruits and vegetables and um, like just a lot more healthy food. I have a smoothie every single day I wake up. I also started going to the gym. Let me fix the camera a little bit. Not touching your face is a big thing. And everyone always said, don't touch your face. This might, is gonna be irrelevant if you don't have acne, but if you do, you'll know what I mean. People always say, don't touch your face. And you're like, I don't touch my face. Or you're like, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really do anything. Or at least that's what I thought. And then I watched a YouTube video of someone not touching their acne for a week. And then I stopped doing it and it started helping. So that's a good thing. Getting a good night's rest is way too important. You gotta be sleeping. I feel like if your skin breaks out, it's your body's way of telling you, yo, take care of me. Something's not right up in here. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little update I wanted to do on my skin. It's finally, I feel like taking a turn for the better. It was far beyond worse than this. And if you go back and watch my old videos, you'll see that. Hopefully those things can help you one way or another. But now, it's time to go pull a giant tree out of the ground with my Ford Raptor before we get rid of it. A couple weeks ago, no, two days ago, a giant tree fell down in our backyard and we, we wanna get rid of it. I have zero idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna go ahead and try this. Like just shift it to there. I'm gonna pull it from here for Kiki! <gasps> Kiki! Yeah, what are you doing? I don't wanna be down here. Boys, what are we looking at? We're looking at a big truck. We're looking a at a 250 hooked up to about a 456 with a 270 on the rears and a 228 on the front. We got a Z86 on the back. And 4, we got a 382 ton, four pound, six ounce baby Jesus hooked up to the tree. And we got our Ford Expedition Raptor Edition here. And we're, we're just gonna see if we can get her, her out. Get her done. Get her Let her eat. I think that's gonna be good. Yeah. Do you think this will hold on the tree? Because again, I have no clue what I'm doing. You know, if you it's looped all the way around, I think you're good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, because the concern here is that we need to get rid of the raptor. Oh. And if the chain flies back off the tree and hits the raptor, we can't do that. Oh, so maybe this part doesn't get posted if it hits the raptor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what he was exactly. getting Exactly. Ah. Start, start over and then do it again. Or here, actually, it'd probably be easier for me to do it. Man knows what he's doing. I guess. <laughs> uh, stop, stop, stop! Ah! Well, he's just, he can't hit that box. Go back a little more. No, he's good, he's good, oh. he's good. Oh. Almost. Yeah, no, it's on. This is what we were talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah, thanks for calling that out. Oh, balls. Did I just make, wreck those? <laughs> Holy balls. Go on, kids. I don't want you to see daddy in this position. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just worried about the chain flying off. The chain's not gonna fly off. Let's just see, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I literally have no clue. We came up with this an hour ago. <laughs> One hour ago, we, this was an idea. So here we go. For real. Oh, it's still rooted. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna miss the raptor. Hold hey. <laughs> Yo, I just ate in the mud. <laughs> I got out and said, hey, jump to the ground and just ate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I moved it so though. It did it. Yeah. My plan yeah. worked. It worked. Now we have to move the truck and we have to pull the tree that way. Guys, he delivered it to the wrong camera. I'm gonna have him say that again. Guys, I just delivered it to the wrong camera. How dare I? What? Attach that. Two chains. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, by the way, guys, there's still no plan of what to do with the tree. I just didn't want it on the berm because then I can't ride the pit bike track. So I'm gonna kind of miss the truck, dude. The Raptor, I know. It's a good vibe. I mean, we, we low key use it sometimes. But granted, the new. Yeah, yeah. It can't have the same tone. It doesn't it's have not the same tone capacity. It's gonna so be I mean, completely different. No, I know, that's the thing. It doesn't even compare to the. To... 
you know? Oh. It doesn't oh, even compare. Oh, they didn't hear it, though, did they? Because the... That was bleeped, yeah. Oh, that's what sucks. Sorry, but, guys. No, nah, soon they'll see it, though. No, okay. understand. They'll yeah. get it. They'll get it. How's that looking back there, boys? Sick. Sick. All right, let me put her in all we have. All right, you ready? Oh, he's you storing it. it. You gotta want it. It's going on a walk with my tree. Yeah? Just a little a little afternoon stroll. All right, but now, let me see where it, where it looks like. Because <laughs> I have new This is a weird hobby, man. You YouTubers, I don't get it. I know. <laughs> this is funny because this is my exact idea, and I really... It went perfectly for No, once. it went exactly how we I said it. Even... Yo, what if we light it on fire in the dirt because it can't catch fire anywhere? And then like that's a good idea, especially oh. in all these with all the dry land and the California fires going on lately. We should do that. That's a good idea. <laughs> Who has the lighter? Who has the lighter? That's a great idea. Who's got the torch? Appreciate the support, man. <laughs> Who's got the lighter? <laughs> lighter? Lighter? I can no. put it by the taxi. Yeah, we can put it on the taxi. <laughs> what do you do when you have a giant tree and you don't know what to do with? Like you eat it. We can do anything you want with it. You eat it. She cuts to a steak and knife. No, but seriously, look how big this is. This is ridiculous. Yo, this thing's <laughs> He's gonna club it! He's gonna club it! Just drive it straight through the car. Yo! Yo! <laughs> I might fly back. Yo, no! <laughs> oh, 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 my oh my gosh! I did not just get Dude. it. Dude! The taxi just <laughs> got annihilated by the tree, bro. Hey, come look at what you did. This is the thing, bro. I had no other option. I had no... Oh, no. <laughs> it's just the front panel. <laughs> right? I've been literally thinking about this yeah, for three forever, days. Huh? So yeah. now, because we already have the chain and we're already down here, I want to move the taxi because Should the wheel fell off. Lots, we lots hey, happened, hey, guys. So we got to move the taxi. Jay, get in. Bro, it smells like doo-doo. <laughs> this car's been outside with windows rolled down and the keys in it for like two months. Oh yeah, it was open for a week too and there were rainstorms. Bro, yeah. Yeah guys, the taxi has been decommissioned if you haven't picked up on that by now. Oh. Nope! Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to fall. It's so hard! Oh my gosh. Leave it in neutral. <laughs> this thing is a nightmare. <laughs> right, hurry up, hurry up! I'm sorry, taxi! Oh, I'm so sorry! Man! You crank it right? Hey, who did that to the windshield? No taxi deserves this. You're sick for promoting the abuse of taxis. Bro, this thing smells like rust in here, bro. <laughs> it does not smell good. Um, we did it, <laughs> I think. Right now? Yeah. Going. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Oh, oh my yeah. god. Hey, rocking them new 20s. Them, them new, no clean 20s. Got the HREs on a bit. Good. Hey, good driving. Mateo Larson, you were the last person to drive <laughs> the taxi. Yeah, bet yes, how yes, much? Yes, yes, I mean, bet how much? the final moments. I mean, can you share with us? I mean, this is an important moment for the people, for the Fox fan, for everybody. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, not only God, but Jesus. And uh, not only my parents, but to the man that bought the car. Hey. Well, <laughs> that that went well, I think, right? Was it good? Or did, did it not go good because we broke the car? Or did it work because we moved the tree? I, you let me know in the comments down below. Either way, the car is ruined. Um, but we moved the tree, so I'm really hyped about that. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, we are posting videos every other day, and I'm going to try to do that until we hit 10 million subscribers. We were really focused on a whole bunch of other things that I was working on. So January was a crazy month. It was me getting my health back to normal, which is always the most important thing. Planning out the year and figuring out the things I wanted to accomplish, which kind of led to me getting off the normal upload grind. But... I'm getting back into it. We're uploading videos every other day. I have not missed an upload this entire month so far. That's like six uploads, okay? I, I made it to like 300 um, in 2017. So we gotta go ahead and try to do that again. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in two days. Peace out, let's roll the podcast. If you made it to the end of Tanner's video, make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. If you haven't already, make sure you go cop that merch. And I love you, Foxman. Let's roll the outro.
treat me like a human cause the she know I bleed too You it's like a puppy put that Peter shit all be you